Hello viewers, it's SuperDT here. Welcome to the video. So in this week's leagues, we've seen the two new leagues added here. So we've got the Ghost League in the P class, and we've got the Track Toys League. And the Track Toys one is the one I'm going to be focusing on. And I'll show you my tune for the BAC Mono, which is the most commonly used car in that class. And you can see on the leaderboards here, I've used that car, and I'm currently third in the overall leaderboard so if we go back here and go to my cars so this is the car we're talking about the BAC mono is probably the most overused car in a class um, pretty much everyone is using it and especially in the track toys league it is one of the fastest cars if not the fastest car in a class along with the alpha 33 stradale so let's go over to my tune I'll show you how I got it so if you go to search on the get tunes page creator is Shearer space 9 space X then press search on that and here you have his he's got two tunes here but I've got this one where the description is number one and can get top times on most tracks so this is the tune that I've got so if you want to download that tune press um, Y here to go to follow creator he does make very good tunes and I recommend this tune to you so let's go ahead and watch a race of this car in action so we're here on Lime Rock Park and I'm luckily on pole position out of 22 players and the key here is to make sure I get through the first corner cleanly without getting side swiped or rammed from the back and luckily I managed to do that. And the main, main strength of this car is its handling as you'd probably expect and, and its acceleration. The, the main downside of the car is its top speed and if you have a track such as Daytona where you've got the long oval then you're probably not going to want to use this car even in the track toy league there are better cars for that track but around a track like this so Lime Rock Park is a very tight and twisty track this car is absolutely perfect and you're going to see here I'm going to nail together a couple of very consistent and fast laps which is what you want when you're on pole position just to get away from the pack um, so yeah, the Track Toys League, I'm enjoying it quite a lot. Um, there's uh, obviously a limit on the amount of cars you can use, limited to Track Toys only, clearly, as the name suggests. Um, so the BAC Mono is chosen by most people, probably about 70% of people are using this car. But you've also got the Caterham R500, um, the Lotus Exige, the Lotus Elise, the Lotus uh, 211, and the... KTM crossbow of course so you've got those uh, couple of cars but mainly yeah the BAC mono is the main car and this tune is the one I have decided to use the main reason I, I got this tune was I actually tuned the car myself but then a couple of guys were a bit quicker than me and what you can do in an online lobby in case you didn't know this is quite a, quite a useful tip actually if someone is beating you in the same car look at the tune that they've got, click on their name, press get tune. You can literally download the tune that they're using and start using it against them straight away. So this, a couple of guys were really quick in this car so I thought you know I'm going to try and try out their tune. I downloaded their tune which is the tune I showed you just a second ago and it turned out to be really really good. It wasn't miles better than my one but it did give me the edge. It was slightly better. Uh, the thing I noticed when tuning this car was that you could uh, you could upgrade the drive line or the differential one of those two and the stats of the car would go up but the PI would go down now this is very interesting because it actually leaves you more scope for actually improving the car further so what you want really when you're upgrading your car is your PI to go down that's that's heaven that's tuning heaven because then it leaves you more space to upgrade the car in different ways so that actually happened on this car uh, so you're up, I upgraded and the PI went down and that helped quite a bit uh, so this car is really really strong overall and for those of you who haven't tried out the leagues I'd really recommend it I know you're still always going to get carnage especially in a 22 player lobby um, but in this pinnacle league I, I'm in the top division out of the five once you can filter yourself to the front of the grid you really are going to get some really close racing and some of the guys in this league were really really quick I mean, I was really struggling to try and keep up with some of these guys. And, yeah, I was having really good fun trying to, um, you know, trying to keep up with some of these people because you actually learn quite a lot 
when someone else who's quicker is in front of you you they seem to drag you along a little bit you you improve you see what they're doing and you can just learn that a little bit uh, a little bit more uh, to extract the most out of your car so we're coming around on halfway through lap five now and we've still haven't really got away from second place so this shows that this race really was quite a it's quite a nervous one actually when you know you've got someone right behind you you know that you can't really put a foot wrong otherwise you you will spin out uh, otherwise you will lose out should I say um, well you could spin out but what I'm trying to say is uh, if you make one mistake the guy right behind you will pounce if you make quite a bad one um, so I do have a lime rock track guide so if you want to check that out at the end of the video there will be a link to the Forza guides uh, playlist of mine so at the very end of my outro you can click towards that guys and there's a few guides on there but let's go through a lap now so you approach from the left get over towards the curb as much as you can go out wide cut in for a second apex I keep it in fourth gear there for more stability go over to the right hand side before dipping left getting on the brakes nice and early keeping yourself over to the far left hand side before taking the curb on the right hander here using the full track width get on the accelerator nice and early take a nice straight line here uh, turn about just after you get to the curb turn in car will grip quite nicely get on the power very early use the extra track width there and you, you can go down one gear or you choose not to go down a gear actually on that corner and you use the full track width that curb I, I wouldn't recommend taking that curb though and this corner turn in nice and early watch out for the track on the yet on the entrance use the full track width again I wouldn't recommend that curb it's quite a dodgy one and that's a very quick lap so about 52 seconds I think my quickest lap was there uh, just dipped into the 52 seconds and we're going to go for a quick bonus clip here I like uh, these bonus clips I know a couple of uh, a couple of you guys really enjoyed my bonus clips there's no sound for some reason uh, but we're on Indianapolis this is the last lap we're coming up to the finish line so I'm going to slipstream this guy pull out of the slipstream we're going alongside this is the final lap we're in the same car we're coming up to the finish line and I'm just going to nick the win by 0 0.000, 000 seconds uh, I, get, I, I guess that guy was really pissed off about that uh, just managed to nick the, nick the win off him right at the end there but yeah that's um, my quick video on the BAC mono so if you are driving in the uh, track toy league I'd recommend this car and I recommend that tune so go back to the start of the video and have a look at that tune Shearer 9x that's the name you download um, download that off from him and you've got yourself a very quick car for that league and and, and indeed for a class it's a very good car for the class as well um, frowned upon slightly in the normal lobbies but in the track toy hopper is perfectly acceptable so I hope you found this video very useful and entertaining I hope to see you in the next one remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one goodbye